Hey everybody, we're here to teach you what arrays are in GameMaker. Almost every programming language has some sort of data structure uh, that's like an array, probably called an array, and basically it's just a list that you can make and store information in the different slots of the list. So let's get started with it and see how it's done in GameMaker. Now what I've done here is I've created a room with this object called junk, and this object called junk, when I click the mouse, runs a script called junk. And let's just go take a look at that script and what these arrays are. So here's what I'm doing. This is basically creating an array. In Game Maker, you can just go right away, just name the array and start to use it like this. Now you can see I'm using the square brackets here. A lot of languages, that's what you do, you use the square brackets. And these are the index positions inside of the array. So what I'm doing here is I'm saying my array, which is just the name I made up for my array, slot zero, store the word high. Slot one, by, slot two, see ya. And then I'm here, I'm jumping right to slot five and just going, huh. So I didn't fill in slot three or four. Now just to show you this working, once you've made your array and put stuff into the different index positions, basically you can get the stuff out by doing that. So you just say my array two, well, my array index position two is Sia should print Sia and my array five should send out huh. Now, just a little visual here. This is sort of what I've done. And this is sort of a, if you want to have a little visual of what this might look like in memory, it's sort of like something like this. Now I'm trying to look what I did here. Slot zero high, slot one by, see ya, huh. See if this matches. I think that matches. But that's basically what you've done, right? Now I've left these slots empty, and we're going to see what happens when you leave slots empty and try to access them. Now the other thing you can do with this is you also sometimes want to know how many items are in the list or how what's the size of the list. So GameMaker actually gives you a script or a method you can use for that called array length 1D and you give it your array and it'll send you back basically the size. So how many is actually not a very good one there. Technically it's supposed to be called something like length. So I'll just change it here to length, length, length. Because really I've only got one, two, three, four items in my list, but the size of my array is, well, I started at zero and I went up to slot five. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Just because I didn't fill these in, right? It's not counting how many, it's counting the size. So technically I have six for my length of that array. So let's see how this runs here. Does it actually print this stuff out? What does it print out for the length? And then afterwards I'll uncomment this and show you what happens when you try to access a slot that's not in there. So I click on the rock. It's going to make the array. And it says see ya. So it's trying to uh, do my array 2, which is see ya. Now it's going, huh? That's the my array 5 line. And 6. All right? That's the show message of the length. So we have 6 length for the array. Remember, not how many things in the array, just how big the array ended up being. So if I went and said my array 900,000, it'll be... 900,001, right? Because that's how long the array now is. Now, let's just add this in here. Let's try to access the third slot, which we know has nothing in it, and see what happens there. Now, some of you may be saying these arrays seem a lot like the DS list structure that we did earlier in the course uh, with GameMaker. And you're right, there is a similarity. Um, these are much more crude. It's a basic data structure most languages have. And you can notice you don't really get those other methods like find, insert, delete, replace, and all those commands, right? So these arrays do have their purpose, and we'll show you a few examples in a bit. But you can see that some of you, for beginners, may like to use the lists uh, more often because they have all those extra commands for you. So click, see ya, huh, six, and now here comes that empty slot. And you'll see it says zero. Okay, so nothing broke there, so that's not that bad. Okay, it filled the slot with a zero. Okay, so that's your basics on arrays. Now in the next video, in uh, 
we're going to show you. We're going to actually look at a couple basic game situations where using arrays can save you tons and tons and tons of if-else statements or select case statements. So be sure to watch that and see how these things can be used to save you a lot of time in your code. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, if you like this video, why not click the like button or even better, subscribe to this channel, share it with a couple friends. That's what keeps us going. Thanks.